How is any of this considered blogging? Sometimes plushies make me cry because it's like they're little guys made to be loved. Their only purpose is to be held and hugged and loved. We made them because we love making things and we love doing things and they're so cute. <laughs> Group of friends who are close because they all have the same superpower, except no, they don't. As in, they all think the other ones have the same superpower as them, but in fact, they do not. For example, time traveler who is always running into these other people who seem to know what's going on or what will happen and is so happy he can finally share his travel stories. A precognitive who is relieved he isn't the only one with the gift and is so glad to help averting future disasters. A mind reader with a horrible memory who tries to stay on top of things by skimming surface thoughts. You want to talk about next week's election results and how they change the next decade? She is with you. Totally normal guy who thinks the others have the absolute best bit ever and loves playing along. They save the world at least twice without a single clue shared between the four of them. Why does this feel like misfits? Sorry, I'm going to be more normal about him. I need to hunt him for sport. Resisting the urge to ask the people around me to describe how they view me in full, excruciating detail. And then also explain why they view me like that in full, excruciating detail. Behold, behind the scenes of Godzilla 1998. Man, why do they just have this guy fight him off? Dude's huge. Best job in medieval times is probably being the guy who pushes the ladders off the wall when the castle's getting attacked. Literally just pushing it going, bye. Did you know you can strip an angel of its divinity by touching it with a magnet because the memory on its hard drive is easily erased by anything with a strong enough magnetic field? Is that how they work? Okay, listen, we need to talk about your girlfriend. I know you're doomed by the narrative and all, but she keeps defying the will of fate with her vain and ever more desperate attempts to save you. It's seriously going to rend the fabric of space-time if she keeps this up. I'm, I'm not even joking. We're all going to end up in a closed loop of decaying reality. It, if, it's not cute. Stop laughing. If you're wondering, is this a post about that one thing with the lesbian, the answer is yes. Words cannot describe the childlike wonder and joy felt when you encounter a restaurant and they have those fancy soda machines capable of creating wondrous concoctions. The behold, the potion maker. How come every vampire in vampire stories is like 100 years old, though? Why can't we get like a newbie vampire? Like, how long have you been 17? About a year and a half, actually. It, it's kind of trippy. I am what they call a conflict escalator. A trained specialist in escalating even the most minor disagreements to the brink of all-out violence. A Twitter user? Why don't you just... Uh, stop. The answer is either money or anxiety. Or the bone pharaoh. Stupid bone pharaoh. Hey, is it gay to promise your best friend that you'll wait for them and finally make them feel loved and happy again no matter how long it takes despite reliving your own trauma in the process? Uh, uh, asking for a friend. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name him Mao because that's the sound cats make? Well, now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the fuck are you? Meow. Oh, okay then. I love when they draw a carrot on top of the carrot cake. Just to remind you, this ain't no fucking ordinary cake you're dealing with. Thank you.